17,000 crore is what they have announced at a price of 4150. As you pointed out, it's below the expectation because there was the expectation of at least 18 to 20,000 with a large part of the street working with uh, the number towards the higher end of that range. Even price-wise speaking, if you go by the historical trends, the company has been announcing buyback at least at a premium of around 17 to 18 percent. So 15 is towards the lower end of that range as well because historically at least the buyback has been 15 to 20 percent. So that too comes in at a lower end. The numbers are also just trickling in. I'm opening it as we speak because at least as far as the buyback announcement is concerned, it's a bit below our expectations. And as far as the numbers go, the revenue has come in at uh, 59,692. We were working with an expectation of at least 60,000 crore rupees. So I think that's a bit of a miss coming in there. And even if you look at the profitability, my uh, my estimate was throwing out a number from 11,095. That number has come in in line with expectation, actually a smidge better. If you go by profit for the period attributable to shareholders, that's 11,342. So my guess is there might be a bit of improvement in terms of the margins because if you look at the first set of numbers on the top line, it looks a bit weak. The buyback announcement that we were expecting is also towards the weaker side. So in constant currency terms, on a YOI basis, the revenue has actually jumped by 2.8%. So this is YOI constant currency growth, much lower than last quarter because it was 7% in the last quarter. So there has been a reduced uh, number from there. The dollar revenue has come in at $7,210 million. I think this is largely in, expect in line with uh, our expectations. It's a tad below because my number was throwing up. 7,270. The actual dollar revenue has come in at 7,210 million dollars. The profitability, as I pointed out, 11,340 is better than expected because uh, overall, if you look at the TCV as well, that's at around 11.2 billion dollars towards the higher end of the range that we have seen on, in the last four to five quarters. So TCV is in line and the operating margin has come in at 24.3%. I think that is a bit of a, okay, that's actually much better than expectation because uh, our uh, poll was throwing up a number of 23.6%. So I think it's a beat on the margin front. That's why a beat on the profitability. Top line is largely in line with expectations. So you have to say that TCS has managed to deliver a steady set of numbers this time around. In terms of the geographies, North America is very poor. I think on a year-on-year -year basis, the constant currency growth in North America is just 0.1%. Europe is up 1.3 percent. Growth again has been led by UK. So for UK, the growth is 11 percent on a year-on-year -year basis. And if you go by various verticals, BFSI on a YOY basis is actually down half a percent. You also have the communications vertical, which is down 2.1 percent. So last quarter, we had seen that BFSI and communication had declined. That trend really continues. Manufacturing has picked up because of the recent order wins also that they have seen in the manufacturing vertical. High tech is down 2.2 percent, pretty much in line with the expectations. And as far as the attrition goes, that's come down further to 14.9%. Last quarter, this number was around 16 to 17%, if I remember it right. To me, it looks like a steady set of numbers, beat on the margin front. That's why they're beaten profitability. But the top line is a bit muted.